Today we're looking at active group learning with robots. With my kindergarten students, I will use robots. In this case, this is a lesson I do using the BeBot robots, where they are reinforcing what they're learning in class about sequencing, but they're using the robots to support that lesson. So I will have four students working with one robot around a mat like this. With four students in a group, it's important that each student have an active role that's meaningful in the group. My learning goals for the group really have to do with getting the students to take turns and be active in their roles and communicate with each other. The head programmer is making decisions about what the robot will do next. Most of these puzzles have multiple solutions. This robot could begin by turning left going forward and then turning right or going forward twice and then turning left and going forward again. That decision is going to be left up to the head programmer. Once the head programmer decides what the next move is, they ask the code writer to write that code. For the B-Bots, we use command cards for coding. These are cards with the commands written on them because there is no app or computer interface to code. So if I wanted this robot to move forward next, I would need to find a forward card. Here the head programmer and the code writer have worked together to create a sequence to get from the beginning square to the first square in our sequence. The program they have written is forward, forward, left, forward. Now the command keyer is going to enter that into the robot. Now that the commands are entered, we will hit go, and as it progresses, the debugger will track which step of the program we're at, so if we make a mistake, we can correct it later. After each step, we're going to hit the clear button, so we're just programming one part of the sequence at a time. This sequence, which has four parts to it, invites us to take a different turn each part. If there are four students in the group, each student will play each role in the group. The challenge is keeping them actively engaged in the role and negotiating that turn taking. It is not uncommon for students to see some roles as more valuable than others, but without the debugger and the code writer, we would just be blindly guessing at what we're doing. Thoughtfully approaching each of these roles and helping students meet their demands ensures that we're actually learning the skills of programming as we plan the route out, enter it in, execute it, and check for errors.